Hi guys, it's Gav here from DanceMinute.tv. Hope you're all well. As you can see, I'm buzzing as always. Darts is going to be back very soon, of course, behind closed doors. But for us darts fans, I just cannot wait. I've missed it so much. I've been so busy, so I'm not complaining, but I cannot wait for it to come back onto the big screens. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the race to the Betfred World Match Play going into the PDC Summer Series. Some of you will know what the PDC Summer Series is. Some of you won't. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to explain how it's all going to work. So the PDC is going to resume with ranked tournaments with the Summer Series. Now it's going to consist of five Players' Championship events taking place from July the 8th to the 12th behind the closed doors at the Marshall Arena in the Milton Keynes. Now importantly, these are going to be the last five events to take place before the new World Match Play cutoff date, which is July the 12th. There is a massive £375,000 in prize money up for offer. So all 128 of the completing players are going to have a chance to get into this prestigious tournament. So, as we all know, uh, the top 16 players of the PDC Order of Merit are going to be seeded and they're going to be joined by 16 qualifiers from the one-year Pro Tour Order of Merit. So let's have a look at the standings right now. So the PDC, just bear in mind, like I say, any of these can change and will change. So the PDC order of merit right now one michael van gerwin two peter wright three gerwin price four rob cross five michael bully boy smith six nathan aspinall seven daryl gurney eight gary anderson nine james wade 10, Dave Chisnell, 11, Ian White, 12, Mincer Sulevich, 13, Fizz Adrian Lewis, 14, Simon Whitlock, 15, Christoph Vitaski, and 16th is Glenn Durham. Pro Tour Order of Merit, as it sits right now, before all this uh, PDC uh, Summer Series, is 1, is Joe Cullen, 2, Brendan Dolan, 3, Danny Noppert, 4, uh, Jose D'Souza, Five is Jermaine Watamina, six Jeffrey Desvan, seven Johnny Clayton, eight Gabriel Clements, uh, nine Justin Pike, ten Jamie Hughes, eleven Keegan Brown, twelfth is Dimitri Vanderberg, thirteenth is Steve Beaton, fourteenth is Vincent Vanderbilt, fifteenth is Ryan Searle, and sixteenth is Kim Hybrex. Um, so there you can see Glenn Durrant last year, of course, a semi-finalist on his World Match Play debut. He is now moving into the World 16. What a couple of years he's had. Many people doubted him. Quite incredible. And also, it's great to see Christoph Wojtaski uh, going in, um, starting to get into the top 16 and in the seed of places as well. Won so many players' championship, yet to deliver on the big, big stage. But what a quality player. As you can see, reigning champion Rob Cross is currently set as the fourth seed in his challenge to retain, which is now known as the Phil Taylor Trophy. And 2018 champion Gary Anderson is provisionally in eighth seeding right now. Obviously, it's important you want to be in the seedings because then it means you're going to um, not draw another seed of players. So many quality players also are desperate to make the debut in the world match play. Like I said, it's the it's the you know the the fans uh, place. If you ask most fans, which is your favorite? It's, on. it's the world match play. It's in Blackpool. They love the Winter Gardens. Uh, they like the format. They love everything about it. And some crazy, insane finals over the year as well. Uh, so like I say, Ryan Searle, Dimitri Vandenberg, Gabriel Clements are all knocking on the door to make their debut. Also, just to let you know, the PDC Summer Series is also going to be offering a place in the 2020 Grand Slam of Darts for the player who wins the most prize money across the five days. Obviously, it's important. Not only there's going to be so many movers and shakers, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But also, you know, it's so important to get this prize money because it's going to open up the doors for lots of them to secure their places in other televised events like the Labricks Players Championship Finals and obviously the Worlds, the William Hill at the end of the year. Uh, I hope that this video explained how it worked. I don't want to keep you all and bore you all to dead. I like short, snappy videos. But let me know in the comments below, who do you think is going to win the match play in 2020? Who would you like to see make their debut? As always, thank you for all your support. Uh, just uh, want to mention the, the VIP uh, members t-shirts. These are all now being sent out just before I go to all VIP subscribers. Totally 100% free of charge to your doorstep um, who have been with us for six months. And it actually says on there, 4,380 hours served. Absolutely love these t-shirts. Listen, guys, have a great weekend. Don't forget to tune in to us on tomorrow night's live Sunday night show, as always, where you can join myself, Adam and Connor 
Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notifications, and I will catch you all very soon.